Good morning. From the heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, Revealing the Father, August 18th. There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God, a place where sin cannot rest near to the heart of God. Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God, hold us who it before thee, near to the heart of God. John 14, verse 9. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. The fact that the people were more interested in Christ's teaching than they were in the dry, tedious arguments of the Jewish teachers maddened the scribes and Pharisees. These teachers spoke with uncertainty interpreting the scriptures to mean one thing and then another. This left the people in great confusion. But as they listened to Jesus, their hearts were warmed and comforted. He presented God as a loving father, not as an avenging judge. He drew all, high and low, rich and poor, to see God in his true character, leading them to call him by the endearing name, Our Father. By loving words and by works of mercy, Christ bore down old traditions and man-made commandments and presented the love of the Father in its exhaustless fullness. His calm, earnest, musical voice fell like balm on the wounded spirit. He was revealing the image of God mirrored in himself. He presented to his hearers the truths of the prophecies, separating them from the obscure interpretations which the scribes and Pharisees had attached to them. He scattered the heavenly grains of truth wherever he went. Determined to hear what Christ said to his disciples, the scribes and Pharisees kept spies on his track. These spies noted his words and reported them to the Jewish authorities, who, when they heard them, were almost beside themselves with ill-concealed rage, which they interpreted to be zeal for God. As the members of the Sanhedrin counseled together, there were not wanting men with strong, determined prejudices who advised that this man, who claimed so much, who advised that this man who claimed so much be at once put down. They saw that Christ's influence over the people was fast becoming greater than theirs. They longed to crush him for daring to make their traditions of non-effect, but they feared to move openly because of the people. They thought that if they worked secretly, watching his words and actions, they could soon find such accusations against him that he could be put on trial for his life. Christ was giving the rulers of Israel light, which would make them inexcusable. Nothing was left undone that could be done to convince them of their error. Thank you for listening. Shalom.